Hello, my name is Chris Jensen. I'm the science supervisor for Mount Olive School Districts grades six through 12. I'd like to take a couple minutes to bring you through our course offerings here in Mount Olive High School. Uh, my contact information is on the slide. Please feel free to reach out to me at the, at the email listed here or contact me at 7437 once you call the district line. I'd be happy to talk to you about anything science related or any questions you might have related to our curriculum or program in general. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be more than happy to take your call and kind of talk you through anything you want to know. Um, our program consists of three years uh, where we meet the state requirements. Um, so the freshman year is typically an integrated science or physics class. Then we go into a sophomore year of chemistry and then a, a junior year of biology. Now, not every student is going to have exactly the same pathway through. We want to tailor this as best as we can to every individual that comes through. Uh, we really want all of our students to have the best possible experience in science because we really believe that we want every person to come through here to enjoy their science progression and gain something from learning about the scientific process and, and all of our different classes as we, as we go through. Now, after we get through grade nine, 10, and 11, there's a whole host of different offerings that are available in terms of electives and other opportunities to broaden your horizons in different classes. Um, so there are other presentations that'll be out there about all of our different offerings a little bit more in detail. Uh, but on this, this one right here is just gonna be a, a pretty broad overview of, of our courses as we go through 9, 10, 11, and then into the electives. So freshman year, we start off with two college prep level classes. They are integrated science and then our physics first college preparatory class. Uh, we offer an honors physics first, and then we offer an AP physics one. Now, when we talk about recommendations for these different courses, uh, we look at a whole host of different metrics, but one of the biggest, one of the one of our largest factors for success for any student is going to be what their current math class is and how comfortable they are with math, mathematical reasoning and manipulation of formulas and, and things like that. Um, every student is going to kind of grow into math at a different rate. Some come, some become more comfortable later. Um, so we want to place them where they're gonna be successful so we can start to build that connection with science as we move forward. And then we'll actually see progression, you know, in, in terms of students being able to move themselves up level as their increase in science increases and as their comfort with the math also increases with, with age and their other experiences in their math classes. Um, so freshman year, these are our four offerings. Then we move into our sophomore year uh, and now it gets a little bit more like this is a pretty simplified view, uh, but there are other some other opportunities that that crop up in sophomore year and junior year to kind of explore some other higher level classes and, and a, some slightly different pathways. Uh, but in general, 10th grade classes are going to move into chemistry and we offer a college prep chemistry and an honors chemistry class. Um, there are some situations where we move directly into an AP chemistry, um, but we'll find more out about that, you know, when we talk to the students after this, this freshman year. Uh, and the same sort of thing happens with 11th grade. We go into college prep biology, and then we also offer a biology honors. And then there is, again, that option of, of an AP class, you know, at this time as well for some students that, you know, really are interested. Um, now, after those three years, or even sometimes starting sophomore year, some students who are really interested in science, they will opt into a whole host of different electives. Um, right now we're offering astronomy, meteorology, forensic science. We're offering an environmental science. We offer a science issues and ethics class, which is a class where we teach argumentation and debate. Um, we talk about a whole host of different topics such as, um, genetic, um, genetic experiments and, and a whole host of different interesting, you know, conversationally based topics. We get into current events. Um, and it's really an interesting class because kids get to kind of research and debate and form their own opinions on things. And they talk to each other about all these different issues. Uh, we run a biotechnology class, which is where we're dealing with manipulation, not manipulation, but we're dealing with DNA, uh, genetics, and, and we run some different, you know, some different experiments, you know, along those lines. Uh, we have the new geodome outside where we have sustainability uh, happening, which is sort of a self-contained greenhouse 
uh, where we're doing some hydroponics um, and some different, you know, small crops that we're, we're experimenting with and giving the kids the experience of, you know, kind of agriculture um, and some horticulture. Uh, now, we also offer an honors level elective, honors anatomy and physiology, which is typically taken after students have a biology class under their belt, just makes things a little bit easier to understand. But this is where we are incorporating the three-dimensional virtual um, dissection tables. It's pretty amazing. Um, so a lot of students really like this class in their senior year. Now, we go into our other advanced placement classes, and these are, are kind of our final offerings. Um, right now, we're offering environmental science, we're offering AP chemistry, AP bio, we offer an AP physics one, which is the freshman class, which is algebra based. And then we offer an AP physics C, which is our calculus, calculus based physics that's usually offered in junior senior year. Again, uh, please reach out if you have any questions and let me know if there's any, you know, anything you'd like to know. Uh, my extension again is 7437. Let me just flash it up here on the screen. Um, so here again, my email is listed one more time and then my extension. Um, call me with any questions that you have and I'd be happy to take you through.